What do you got against chickens? One got choked last night, thanks to you. 33-year-old male with hemoptysis, fever. You can't even talk about it? You can't apologize, we can't talk, and puncture wounds. I'm not apologizing for doing the right thing. Lying to me was not the right thing. Puncture wounds are from a crucifixion. I lied to save my patient's life. I didn't lie to you, I lied to my boss. Neither of those arguments working yet. Guess that means I don't have to go to the wedding on Saturday. The hospital's chairman of the board. I'm not gonna stand him up. And neither are you. I loathe weddings and there's seven levels of hypocrisy. But you two seem awfully hissy. And there's an outside chance that I can get you drunk and score. So as long as you don't take it as an admission of guilt, sure, count me in. A bit too much honesty. You're also going to the rehearsal dinner Friday night. Dressy casual. Housekeeping. Either you're crazy, or you're atoning for something naughty, and you're crazy. He's a doctor. I'm not atoning for anything. That answers that. Thanks. My Marissa was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. Stage four glioblastoma. When the doctor said she had two months to live, that's when I made my bargain. With your health insurance carrier? With God. Oh. I told him I would nail myself to a cross every year he kept her alive. So how did that negotiation go? You lowballed with ear piercing and God countered? Three weeks later, she was cancer free. And that was four years ago. Pontius Pilate. Misunderstood oncologist. Yeah, my ex-wife thinks I'm crazy too. She moved out the first time I did this. Well, at least your daughter has one viable role model. You don't believe in God? I did. Then I grew my curly hairs. So how do you think I was cured? Maybe you were misdiagnosed in the first place. You have your answer, doctors. We have ours. Causal determinism. We are hardwired to need answers. The caveman who heard a rustle in the bushes, checked out to see what it was, lived longer than the guy who assumed it was just a breeze. The problem is, when we don't find a logical answer, we settle for a stupid one. Ritual is what happens when we run out of rational. If you don't mock him, we need to prep for an LP. Good. Another hole in him should really make God's day. Why are you late? Your next dental appointment is in January, and you just saw your GP eight days ago. I think stage four glioblastoma in an eight-year-old could disappear in three weeks. I had a flat tire. Your patient has cancer? Your tires got less than 5,000 miles on them. No, and neither is my patient's daughter. I hit a piece of rebar near a construction site. In three weeks? It's highly unlikely. There's no construction site between here and your home. I agree. I think it was a misdiagnosed cyst. But there is one between here and my dry cleaner. It could be a misdiagnosis, or it could be spontaneous remission, but why would I lie about this? I don't know yet. But you would have dropped off your tie. He's got a mustard stain. I was buying an engagement ring. I'm going to propose to Sam at the wedding. That is the second stupidest thing I've heard today. I'm surprised how close you came. You don't need to buy her a new ring. Isn't the first one good for all you can marry? I assume you haven't apologized to Cuddy yet. Your stupidity demands equal time. Nothing to apologize for. Pretend to apologize. You want me to lie? There's a lovely symmetry to it. A lie got you into it, a lie gets you out of it. Everybody lies. I'm sure Cuddy... Just need to give her a chance. Yeah, that must have been what I meant. 